Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and I'm going to do an IXL that deals with the Pythagorean theorem, finding the length of a hypotenuse. So here I have a triangle, and the two legs are given. So what I'm going to do, this is using Pythagorean theorem, it's 3 squared plus 4 squared is going to be the hypotenuse squared. So this is 9 plus 16 equals the hypotenuse squared. So 25 equals the hypotenuse squared. So what number squared is 25? Well, I could use the square root, and that's going to tell me 5. So the length of that missing side is 5. Super. And I need to get an eraser. And I'm back. OK, let's do the next one. So this is going to be 5 squared plus 12 squared. So 5 squared is 25 plus 12 squared, which is 144. I add those together, I get 169. But that's not the length of that side. That's way too big. I take the square root of it. It takes me to 13. So that missing side is 13. Let's do another one. I'm going to go 12 squared plus 16 squared. So 12 squared plus 16 squared, that's 144, plus, I'm using a calculator to find 16 squared, 256. Add those two numbers together, and I'm going to get a 400. I'm going to take the square root of 400, that's going to be 20. So that missing side, the hypotenuse, is 20. See, 8 squared is 64, 15 squared is 225, add those together, that gives me 289, I take the square root of 289, and I get 17. This is going to be 8 squared plus 6 squared, 8 squared is 64. 6 squared is 36, add them together, I get 100, take the square root of it, I get 10. The missing side is 10, that hypotenuse is 10. Let's see, 30 squared is 900, 40 squared is 1600, add those together, I get 2500, take the square root of that, I get 2, I get, not 25, I get uh, 550. I think. I'm going to check that, though. It sure feels like 50. 50. Also using my calculator. Let's see. 60 squared is 3,600. 25 squared is 625. Adding them together. Takes me to 4,225. Taking the square root of that. Takes me to 65. 48 squared. Let's see. I'll show you what I'm doing on the calculator here, too. So 48 squared, 2,304 plus 20 squared is 400. Add them together. What's going to be 2704. Take the square root of that. 52. And that is my hypotenuse, 52. So 55 squared, 3,025, plus 48 squared, 2,304. Add those together. Takes me to 5,329. Take the square root of that. Takes me to 73. Let's see, eventually these are going to go to decimals on me, I think. Okay, 14 squared, 196 plus 48 squared, 2,304. Adding them together. Takes me to 2,500, taking the square root of that, it's going to be 50.
Oh, look at that one. Okay, now it's getting into some rounding. So 1 squared is 1 plus 3 squared, which is 9. So I'm adding those together to take 10. I take the square root of that. The square root of 10 is 3.16, rounding it to 3.2 because it's saying to take it to the nearest tenth. Okay, one more rounding one, and then I'm done with this one. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, adding them together, I get 5. Square root of 5 is 2.23. That's going to take me to 2.2. All right, there we go. How how well did I do on my smart score? Got myself up to about 75. That looks pretty good. Took me about six minutes. Excellent. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.